you could go. Yep. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, Task Force Vol sorry, starting. Task Force Mali has been established to investigate the death of the young child whose remains were found recently on the roadside near Wanaka. The task force comprises 15 detectives drawn from Major Crime and Murray Bridge CIB and is supported by a very strong um, response from the Forensic Science Centre and our own Forensic, forensic Response Area. Since the body's been discovered, we've had over 40 Crime Stoppers actions received from South Australia and other states. We've had considerable contact with government agencies across South Australia and other police forces um, across the country. As a result, we've been able to identify several potential victims who we've been able to locate and satisfy ourselves that they're all right. We still have nothing to identify who the young child is. As I said the other day, we have a lot of forensic testing to do. The forensic testing is very complicated and drawn out and quite complex due to the condition of the skeletal remains. And um, as I say, Forensic Science SA and Forensic Response are doing everything they can as quick as they can and trying to deliver us the best result, but it is going to take time. The gender of the child will not be known until early next week if everything goes well. And to establish a DNA profile will take a little longer than that subject to the results of tests. It may be that the initial DNA tests are unsuccessful and further tests have to be done. So we just ask that you're patient with that. There has been a lot of speculation about William Tyrrell being our victim. I can tell you that um, unnecessary speculation is not necessarily helpful to us and we have no evidence at all to prove that William Tyrrell is the victim. And in fact, there are a number of things and information within our possession which make it unlikely. It's not, we can't say that it's definitely not William Tyrrell, but we say that we believe at this stage, knowing the full facts of the case, that it's less likely. Um, the suitcase that you can see um, is the suitcase that had contained the body of the child and was found on the roadside. And you can see from that it's considerably faded. There are some clothes um, which we're able to display, which we believe that um, some people will know, um, possibly know the victim or may know the origin of those clothes. I ask you not to necessarily draw the inference, because those clothes are obviously female, that the victim is a female. As to whether those clothes belong to the victim or not, can't be determined at this stage. So just to make that perfectly clear, we have a victim, a young child, three to five years of age most likely now. We definitely don't know the sex of the child and the fact that we have female clothes does not mean that the child is necessarily a female. Um, since we spoke yesterday, um, we've had a couple of witnesses come forward who have seen the 60-year-old man that was seen at Wanaka with a suitcase. They also saw that old man on possibly the same day, but later in the day around lunchtime, west of Wanaka, um, a short distance west of Wanaka. We're not sure exactly how far, but definitely west of Wanaka. He was walking along the side of the road carrying the suitcase. We still don't know who that man is, whether he has anything to do with this case for certain, um, with this investigation. And again, we appeal to that man, if you're watching, uh, come forward, explain what you were doing there, and we can quickly eliminate you from the inquiry. We also ask that any members of the public who saw that person to contact Crime Stoppers immediately, or anybody who has knowledge as to who that man was. The importance of the suitcase and when it was on the road is critical to the investigation. There are a lot of people who travel that road. A lot of people have dash cams in their cars. 
and certainly a lot of trucks have dash cam. We would ask anybody that uses the road that has a dash cam fitted to the front of their car um, to make contact with Crime Stoppers if they've travelled that road, as uh, their dash cam may have images of people connected with the case or may help us to determine when that suitcase was in a particular position and when it was moved. Any questions? So it's only early days yet. Um, is there, I know that you said you haven't been able to identify the child's gender yet. What, what sort of testing is required to get to that result? Um, we came out of a briefing with forensic science people earlier today. Um, I'm not a scientist, but in layman's terms, they've got a complicated process to go through <coughs> because of the degraded nature of the remains. Um, so that's what makes it more difficult. But they are working really hard to identify the gender of the person, and we will get the gender of the person before we get a DNA result. Okay, obviously it's narrowed down to the 